Once again, the historic plank is being improved, Bob. Now, we're going to show you three better options that are going to make you stronger and uh, more fit, at least in my opinion, of course, Bob. It's I not, agree. It's, I concur. He, Bob concurs. It's not that plank is a bad exercise, but we've got much better options. Even better. And you'll see why in 9.3 seconds. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Okay, here we go. The first option. Now, there are all three of these options I'm a little biased to because I use them all. However, with spondylolisthesis, my lower back is unstable. Right. And I have to have the strongest core I can just so I can do daily activities without back pain. I applaud you, Brad. Uh, You've done well. And these work. I do them religiously. Right. The first one. Now, this is one I just started. I really like this. And this is not only going to get core strength, but it's going to get your heart rate up. You're going to burn some calories and work out well. It's simply mountain climbers. And it's not boring. No, it's not. I get bored out of my... Skull. Yeah, my skull pan on with... Uh, skull pan. <laughs> with the plank. So... We simply go here and we start out with doing these. You know, do them for about 10, 15 seconds is to start out with. Go up to 30 if you'd like. You can make a variety and bring knees out to the side. And I'm just going to demonstrate. You do exactly what you want. And I've really made these less boring. You can do a little bouncies like this and then these kinds of things. Your back ha handles that, Brad? What? Your back handles that? Oh, it does wonderful with it. I would have never been able to do this two years ago. That's for sure. And, and then, you know, do the single one. It's just all kinds of fun. Now, really make it fun is get some music. So, Bob, I want you to start singing. No, you don't. <laughs> okay. Now, what I'll also I, I'll do from there is I'll come up and I'll throw some squats in and then march a little bit to relax and breathe because you're going to need a break every 30 seconds. We got some easier ones, too. Yeah. I want to yes. make sure they know Exactly that. right. Okay, we're going to... Put a break here so I can rest. You go to number two. All right, number two. You're going to need some bands. Yep. And ideally something to hook it up to. So we have the law anchor. Uh, when, when, you, when you get bands, a lot of times you'll get these right. that go into doors. So you can use any door in the house to do the same thing. But this works really well. You just pull apart and you're ready to go. So you're going to stir the pot. Now, this is going to strengthen the core. It's going to work balance. And the big benefit over this is that it's functional. The plank is not functional. You're always doing things in a standing position, strengthening the core, working your balance, where in the plank, you're not working your balance, and you're not doing anything standing or functional. Bob, can you put a little bend in those knees? Ah, that That's athletic great position. For, it's great for people who can't get on the floor, Brad. It is. It's a great option. It looks, it's harder than it looks. It is, because right now his core muscles are really going to town. They're screaming, they're screaming, Brad, stop! <laughs> more, Bob, more. <laughs> You're going to 30 seconds. All I right. don't care you what it takes. You want to get both sides too, right? I know it's not much of a shot. See me from yeah. Behind. This is something you can just you know okay. get your coffee if you want. But wonderful fit. Really works for all. It does. Now, the next one with the bands is you'll need to get it up a little higher, and I'll show you. We've got a wall anchor up there, but if you have a door strap, just move it to the top of the door, and this works the obliques. This is one of my favorite, and I'm sure this one has made my core stronger so I can go outside, do yard work without back pain, and I'm going to pull down like this and pull down. It works to pecs, too, as well. But and some of those little external obliques and yep. internal obliques. I put my finger right there because those muscles are the hardest ones to kick in. Right. And I can feel them kicking. A little feedback. In. Yep. And then, naturally, you have to do this side as well. Pull down. In order as I'm moving my hips, I'm just not moving my arm. You have to get your whole body engaged to get that foundation. You could, you could possibly do an uppercut right too, right? Man? Well, I'm going to do that right all. now. Oh, you are? Yeah. So I didn't know that. Yep. Go to the bottom one or move your strap on the door down. And then. Here we go. We're going to go up like this. And you think about, now this works not only just the core, but the leg and the arm. It's a wonderful full body workout. Make sure you do both sides. You're going to feel that inside leg really go to town and work. And that stomach is just 
tighter than tight. Man, I feel strong like Bull Bob. Uh, what's nice about well, this? Well, anybody can do these. Yeah, exactly uh, right. You can use different color bands. Uh, lighter colors are easier, heavier. You can double, triple up your bands with the anchor. You can, anyways. Am I wrong in saying, Brad? You're when you do planks, it hurts your back. Yeah, yeah. I and that's why I quit doing them years ago sure. because it bothered my back. Then I realized why do them anyways when there's a better option. Why, a, why, 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 Bob? Why? We still got number three, so don't go okay. away. All right, Bob. Now this last set, the third option is an excellent option, particularly if you have a history of low back pain or are you actually dealing with low back right. pain. Very, it supports the back and isolates the core muscles without stressing the back. Very good. But you do need the ball, the ball. Bob. You know. I call it the beauty of the ball. Right. The ball does wonderful things, and this is one of the wonderful things you can do. You love that phrase. Oh, my goodness. So what we're going to do, so if my back is sore, which I've done this many times with a sore back, lie like this, legs over the top. Make sure you have shoes on so you can grip the ball. If you look at my ankles, that holds the ball. If you have shorts on so your skin goes against the ball, it makes it easier to that grab works the ball. Too. Right. So if you just lift the ball up in the air, it's all core, a lot of rectus muscles going on here. We've got some other options to get the other muscles. And you, I usually go up to here. If you have spinal stenosis in particular, that feels good. Or spondylolisthesis. If you do get back pain when you do this, you don't do it. Exactly right. Yeah, if you have a herniated disc, right. this probably wouldn't be the thing right. to do. Okay? But so you're going to start out with 10 of these. You know, this works up all of these core muscles. You want to build up to higher numbers uh, because you want to get those uh, postural and core muscles strong for uh, endurance. Yeah, how long have you been doing these, Brad? Ah, uh, four or five years. Four or five years. I do 50 at a time. Wow. Um, but, you know, like I said, Show I built off. up to that. Sure. Now, the next one is going to be up to here, arms here, and you get the oblique. So my right elbow, let's see if we can get, right elbow goes to left knee. It doesn't have to touch, but this does a little range of motion to the back, works the oblique muscles. And it keeps his back flat. Yep. And you could do these with a pillow if you wanted to. Sure. You don't want to get your head up like this. Right. Not okay? too much of a curl. The, <laughs> the next one, this is great for the core muscles on the back side. Go over the top of the ball, supports the back. Right hand up, I call this the pointer dog. And then if you feel comfortable, opposite leg goes straight out. Okay, and then we alternate. Starting out, you may just do one leg at a time. Or one arm at a time. Exactly right. And that works those back muscles more than you can imagine. You don't have to think about it either. It's just the way the body works. That's the right. beauty. That's another beauty of the yeah, ball. ball. There right. you go. All right. So make sure you do 10 to 20 of those. You're going to work the core. You're going to work the back of the core, the posterior core muscles. And now if you want to get bored with those and you want to do a little more advanced, um, you're going to go out, oops, hold on. You're going to come out and then do some simple push-ups. They're easy here. They get harder here. When you can do them here, you can add some rotation for that core. Nice one. Obviously, if your back bothers you, do not do this one. Right. Okay, or just simply walkouts. You're really getting some arm and shoulder workout here as well. And my favorite, I like this one. This feels really good on my back because I got some stenosis. I go up to here and I just stretch the back out. By the way, Brad makes these look easy. They are difficult to do. I did say they are advanced. Right. You're not going to start out with those. You're going to start out with the ones laying on the ground. You may never do those. Right. That's just for the people who want to have more of a challenge and if they're more active in their daily life. All right, let me hit you in the abdomen a few times. Yes, Bob, Please. I want you to... <laughs> oh, God, I can take it. Give me more. <laughs> Give me more. Well, anyways, uh, okay. have have a good day. And uh, once again, Bob, we uh, can fix anything except for a broken heart. Broken heart. That's not going to help. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs>